Guys, so today I'm going to go ahead and try out the Armani Power Fabric Foundation. Um, I tried to do the Dior. That was like the wrong color. So now we're on the Armani um, sample. This is going it's called the Power Fabric Not Long Wear High Cover Foundation. I have a little clip over here for you guys to watch. So let's go ahead and follow along and see what this foundation is all about. It's a Best of Beauty. So it got the Allure, the Beauty Expert 2018 award winner, which is really exciting because I don't ever really follow Allure's award winner um, like stuff. I, I don't know. It's just. I know, like, I'm so such an explorer and I like to know for myself what works and what doesn't work. So I never really, um, like, try to check them out. But I should do a video on it, trying to check them out, right, and see. Um, so let's do the shade finder. And I always do the MAC. So MAC Studio Fix Fluid, NC42. And they say I'm a 7.25. Gosh, but I got 7.75. Ugh. Okay, anyways. We'll still see if this works out. Um, it's a liquid foundation that provides full coverage with a velvet matte lightweight second skin finish. So it's supposed to be super comfortable to wear. It's SPF 25. Um, it has a microfill technology, provides powerful ultra fine pigments, shaped for the highest coverage foundation. So I'm just going to quickly prime my skin with this Wet n Wild Serum um, focus primer as my primer you guys know the drill I always do one side beauty blender and one side um, a brush so I'm gonna go ahead and do the brush first so it is definitely a, a very thick foundation so I'm gonna scrape off the excess okay I love the shade already oh my gosh it goes it smells oh it smells so scrumptious it smells nice oh this is nice Okay, I like how this is going on my face. This foundation is $64. So you already know my cheap ass is expecting miracles. And so far, <laughs> miracles is happening. Like, do you see how good that looks? I really love this foundation brush, you guys, because it's double-sided. It's the only double-sided item you'll ever see me have in my collection. <laughs> Um, because I love how you can just like go in and like cover your your area and not mess up your brows. So now we're gonna go in to the other side with the beauty blender. And obviously that's way too much, but we're still gonna do this. Okay, I really like this with a brush, I think, because when I put it on with a beauty blender, it's not as velvety and pretty. Huh. So the beauty blender, it seems a little textury. You know, I'm gonna drill this foundation because I'm gonna wanna know why they're charging $64 and if it's worth $64, cause you know your girls, your girl don't play with my money. So I wanna make sure that it works out. Oh my God, but it's so pretty. Literally, you guys, I feel like I have nothing on my face right now. And I'm like actually feeling myself already. It feels so good. Like, I feel like I literally have nothing on my face. Huh. I've heard people say great things about this, you know, like Armani foundation. But I always thought they were, like, lying. Beauty girls be lying. Beauty girls be lying sometimes. I mean, I'm 100% honest. But it's, like, scary to be this honest sometimes because I'm like, nobody's going to like me. Everybody's going to think I'm, like... Jeffree Star 2.0. This is as close as we can get. And this is how the foundation looks on my skin. It looks gorgeous. Oh my God, this is so nice. So nice. It still gives me like a kind of an ashy vibe over here. But overall, this foundation is fire. It looks so good. I'm loving it. I feel like I literally have nothing on my face right now. And I'm, you guys are all up in my face right now. Was on point. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and wear this foundation for the rest of the day, finish up my whole face, and come back throughout the day and give you guys a check. It is officially 328. It is officially 328. I'm so sorry, you guys. I started doing foundation review really late today. I usually start in the morning, so I'll probably be able to do like a six, seven hour review on this. Um, but so far, it feels so good. Like, it feels so good. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys this foundation in natural 
lighting. Um, I do feel like I'm looking a little orange, but if you, oh my God, this foundation is freaking stunning. Just look at that. Look at my skin. It looks so freaking good. And I've, I've had it on for like about an hour and I am loving it. I would not mind having this as my new daytime foundation. Comment down below if you guys have even tried out this foundation, but this foundation is... I'm loving it. I'm loving this makeup look. I think that's what's going on. But I'm going to take a picture in natural light and then I'm going to take it with a flash and show you guys how that looks. I think a lot of us don't really wear makeup all the time, but we like to wear it when we're about to take a picture. So it'll be good to know how it looks with the picture. So as you guys can see, because this foundation has SPF 25 in it, you're going to see flashback from the um, pictures because SPF 25 usually does give a really good flashback. But honestly, not like at night and you're not using a flash and you just have like natural good light not flash photography this foundation will still look good so you can still wear use it at night i feel the flashback wasn't that extreme um it's definitely a beautiful daylight natural like daytime photography it's gonna look really good your skin is gonna look really nice and it's not gonna need any airbrushing it's literally a face tune and a bottle you guys has it been a while since I've been fascinated by a foundation? I think so. And I'm so fascinated by this one. This is like so good. Am I going to buy a full bottle of this? Babe, what time is it? Babe? 11. It's 11? I did touch up my nose just a little bit over here. I wear glasses, so the glasses... Well, it does it with every foundation. It made um, a little bit of the foundation move. So guys, this foundation looks so freaking good it's not that good at controlling oils i can see some of my oils just like seeping through in certain areas really love how it didn't crease crazily right here my texture is all really nice and airbrush looking it lasted a long time and um, it's about a seven hour wear and it still looks really good i just love how radiant and good my skin looks it looks super nice foundation a rating i would say it's a four star rating i'm gonna give it four stars because the color selection isn't the greatest in my opinion i did feel like i struggled with uh color selection a little bit and then the price is really expensive but it was worth the price but 64 dollars for a foundation that's like that's a little that's a little pressing it but other than that it's a four star i'll even give it like a 4.8 i just can't give it a five because it slid off my nose a little so then that wouldn't be right but if you're someone with dry skin and you know you're looking for a full coverage matte foundation this is definitely a great foundation for you if you have oily skin or if you have acne prone skin i also think this will be a great foundation for you because it is very light on the skin even though it's full coverage and my skin still feels so breathable i literally feel like i don't have anything on my face so i think it will be still great for someone with acne prone skin um yeah you guys so if you guys want to see more foundation reviews go ahead and comment down below leave me a um like on this video turn on the notifications and i will see you guys on the next video bye